Rajendra Penkar, Director of ORF, Mr. Srinidhi Kulkarni, and Mohammad Bajeddin. At the outset, I would like to apologize for coming late for this uh, program. As you know that there is a security alert in the city, and we had to cross uh, many security hurdles while uh, reaching here. I am very thankful to Mr. Sudhinder Kulkarni for giving us an opportunity to, to have collaboration for this program. Not only this program, we had conducted many academic programs at our uh, departments, Civics and Politics, University of Mumbai, and also here. <clears throat> and we are also looking forward for such kind of an academic collaboration uh, in future. Uh, last time uh, when he had visited the department, uh, uh, we had discussed to have a SARC center uh, at the University of Mumbai. Uh, I hope that <clears throat> this, uh, uh, our ambitious project, academic project, uh, uh, will be realized in uh, uh, near future. <clears throat> I, in fact, uh, I, I'm just a layperson to understand the international politics. Uh, although I taught uh, international politics um, at the, my earlier stage of career, but there are two important uh, uh, scenarios which I look at, uh, uh, you know, when uh, I try to understand this uh, uh, phenomenon of ISIS uh, at the world stage. And, uh, and the first is that, you know, the role of the United States, he, uh, uh, Ambassador Rajendra Ambekar uh, explained uh, at the larger extent the role of United States. Uh, and uh, my observation is this, that uh, in this uh, <coughs> West Asian crisis, uh, or uh, what we call the Middle East crisis, the American role, American foreign policy is at the uh, receiving end, or it is more defensive. And, it, and this is very important, why it, is, uh, it has been defensive uh, uh, in, in the, this West Asian crisis or Middle East crisis. Uh, for the simple reason, and we are qu quite aware about this uh, uh, reality, that American economy has been caught up in the economic crisis. And this economic crisis is not, uh, again, is still finished. Uh, 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 American economy is still struggling to, uh, 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 to be active, not uh, only in the, uh, you know, in the uh, uh, domestic politics of uh, you know, America, but also in the international politics, in the world politics. So uh, what I see that the role of the United States is very, very confined uh, uh, in the uh, West Asian crisis or Middle East crisis. And, and because of the uh, bleak uh, caric uh, scenario of uh, economic uh, crisis in, in the United States. And second, I, I do agree with uh, Muhammad Wajiddin that we should try to make the distinction between the Islam and political Islam. And this is very important. We always try to associate, we means uh, uh, in India also and every, in, uh, out of India also, we always try to uh, look at Islam as something very, uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in a doctrinal term. And we don't try to understand the another aspect that political Islam, those who are the jihadis, those who are the so-called ter terrorists or the real terrorists, they try to give political manifestation to Islam. And that is something very incorrect in understanding this uh, uh, phenomena of, uh, 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 you know, uh, the so-called so, uh, so jihad or also the p political uh, terrorism which is launched by, the, uh, by, the, by, by these uh, terrorists. And, and lastly, the role of India is very important. I, I feel that uh, when we have got more <coughs> camaraderie uh, uh, with uh, these Middle East countries, India should have proactive role uh, in dissolving, in diffusing the tensions in the, in the, in the Middle East or West Asian uh, 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 countries. Uh, we have uh, got, you know, we have tremendous respect among these, uh, among these uh, uh, countries. And I think we should try to consolidate that, uh, you know, uh, respect uh, in uh, practical terms, in real terms, in geopolitical terms, not only in geopolitical terms, but, you know, in, a, in, a, in a all sense, in economy, in, uh, in terms of ideology, in terms of politics. So India has got more role. And I, and I, I, I don't feel that I'm exaggerating that uh, uh, more than United States, because there is a uh, uh, respect, there is a... Uh, there is a feeling of friendship, uh, and, uh, and 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 the, uh, the, the, the 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 because when uh, I meet the students from these countries, they have got very profound love about India, and 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 I feel that uh, this we should try to consolidate in uh, diplomatic terms, 
And, uh, and because of that, I, uh, what I would like to emphasize is uh, that, uh, that the India should play more proactive role in diffusing this tension or a more assertive role in talking to Iraq, Egypt, Syria, all these things. And then there is a possibility that uh, you know, India can contribute in more positive sense. Uh, again, uh, <coughs> in fact, I'm very happy that uh, Ambassador Rajendra Ambedkar concluded his talk by saying that, you know, India, a country like India, where there is a <coughs> the, the core reason uh, why such kind of, uh, uh, you know, crisis occur, uh, and particularly in terms of the Muslims, if the unprivileged, underprivileged, and deprived sections of the Muslim community are not, uh, you know, uh, community is not given an opportunity for betterment, for the social welfare, for the economic welfare, and Muhammad Wajid is also stays on that point, that India is a plural society, India is a composite society, and, uh, and we have to accommodate uh, uh, in a peaceful manner with all these underprivileged and, and, and deprived sections of the society, and that is the nerve, that is the core, uh, you know, uh, uh, center or core idea of Indian society, so we should not forget that Indian society, it is essentially plural and composite, and, and if you want to retain that, then uh, we'll have to tackle with uh, such kind of tendency by, uh, by uh, 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 having more accommodative uh, attitude towards this session. I, I again, <coughs> I'm very much thankful to uh, Susan Kulkarni for giving us an opportunity to collaborate uh, 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 in this program uh, and also with ORF. Thank you very much.